Hi all. Trust you're all doing well. We're missing you all so much. It'll be great when we all get together again. We'll have to have a big party, I think. Earlier on, um, at the outset of all this um, happening, the uh, lockdown and so forth, uh, the Lord awoke me, uh, woke me up about 5 a.m., something that uh, doesn't happen too often these days. So I went to the lounge and I was in praying and waiting on the Lord. And essentially, was saying that uh, in our prayers we should, <coughs> excuse me, we should apply the blood, His redeeming blood, <coughs> excuse me, His redeeming blood over our households, our loved ones, and families a church, family, and on throughout our country, including government and prime minister. And while I just sat there and um, before the Lord, I, my thoughts went back to an item that um, Pad and I had watched on uh, the news a day or two before, uh, of crowds panicking and buying in frenzy and you know trolleys loaded up with all that sort of all sorts of stuff at the supermarket and I said to Pat what's wrong with these people and Pat said they're afraid they're stocking up so they don't have to go out again and at this time I was praying it I, I recalled all that and I, I, I thought that all that, uh, as I thought of it all, uh, in, in quietly praying, it came to me that they're scared. You know, these people, they're panicking because they're scared stiff of dying. They don't know the Lord and they're scared. This then is God's call for us to pray for the Lord to work in, on the hearts of folk like them who don't know him. Uh, we have the opportunity to sow these seeds of Christ in their hearts in prayer and to pray and keep on praying and see lives changed. I think that is what the Lord will have us do. Now's the time to look outward for the lost and pray, so, pray somehow that they cross our paths and they hear the words of life that we can share with them. I think there's a profound truth here that should spur us on to action. Let's pray at this time for God to redeem these lost souls, ones we know and the ones we don't know, and later on to act and follow up our prayers with loving action, sowing the seeds of righteousness. Think of it, dozens of or more coming out of darkness into God's glorious light just as we once did. It's easy for us to be distracted with TVs and our devices and so forth. But let's, though, consider the prize, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Why not all of us make a special effort at this time, talking about myself as well, uh, lockdown period, to double down on prayer, Praying at least, um, praying at at least double the normal time we would give pr uh, to the Lord in prayer, so that we can really petition on on behalf of these unsaved people, the ones, as I say, that we know and the ones that we don't know. If what I say is of the Lord, on, is on the Lord's heart. We will have confirmation from him that we're, get, we're in the right direction to get the uh, direction needed. 
he strongly reminds us too that at least in at least three places mark 13 chapter 13 verse 10 matthew chapter 28 19 to 20 and mark 16 to uh, chapter 16 verse 15 in short now is the time to pray pray now whilst hearts are softened and open later we can act and sow the seeds sharing our glorious liberty as sons and daughters of god and i just want to finish with a scripture hope it blesses you it's from uh, hebrews Chapter 13, verse 20 to 21. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Christ Jesus, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Bless you guys. Lovely to talk to you. Bye.